Hello there. Welcome to Just the Discs. This is going to be a short video because it's kind of a timely thing, but um, I know you've probably seen some other folks talking about this Sony um, Sony Pictures Classics 30 Years Ultra HD 4K Collection. And um, it's on sale right now on Amazon, so... I just thought I'd throw up a video real quick. I don't know how long the sale is going to last. It's currently $139.99. Uh, I had a gift card, so I picked it up. And um, there's some movies in here that I definitely wanted that I was actually going to try and buy just on eBay solo, but it's just not really worth the trouble. Like, basically, if there's anything in here I don't want, I can just sell it on eBay myself. And um, so I might do that. But I'm going to open up this box and give you guys a look inside at what's you know included and from that you can decide if you'd want to pick it up but there's definitely some cool titles in here I think um, so I'll start with the stuff I really am interested in it also opens kinda weird like it opens like out like that and there's like slightly a magnetic thing happening but anyway, let me go through what's what's cool in this set, okay? These are all 4Ks, and none of these that I know of have solo releases outside of this set. So um, I'll go through them pretty quick. But um, stuff I'm really psyched about is like City of the Lost Children on Blu-ray, the Jeanne and Caro movie. And these are porting over all the Blu-ray features as far as I can tell. Um, you're getting your commentaries and your making ofs and stuff like that. And... You're only getting the 4K, which is fine, but I'm um, a big fan of that one. So that was one of the ones I would have you know, thought about picking up solo. Run Lola Run, really, really excited about this one. This is a big favorite of mine. Um, and uh, again, this has gotten Blu-ray releases and it's got an umbrella release, but this has even more features. It's got two commentaries on there and the still running feature out of making of. Believe music video. This is just a great, fun, time bounce sort of movie. But I'm actually gonna probably throw this on tonight just to like look at it. But uh, so that's part of the set. The Run Lola Run. Uh, then we have Synecdoche, New York. Uh, the Charlie Kaufman movie, which I really like. Very bizarre, surreal absurdist comedy with Philip Seymour Hoffman. As you can see, Samantha Morton, Michelle Williams, Catherine Keener, Emily Watson, Diane Wiest, Jennifer Jason Lee, Hope Davis, Tom Newman. I forgot how, <clears throat> how good that cast is. Uh, again, porting over, um, I think, all the features that were on the Blu-ray itself, now in 4K. Uh, so that one's definitely on my list of... Also would have got, got it solo. <laughs> Hang on a second here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, part of the 4K set here. Just showing the features you're getting, which is a good amount. And I haven't looked at any of these yet, but I'm excited to check them out in 4K. Again, I, I don't think any of these have solo 4K releases so far. So that's another part of this. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Then we have uh, Guillermo del Toro's The Devil's Backbone. This has come out on Criterion Blu-ray, so I don't know that all the features are matched here, but you have multiple commentaries with Guillermo, you have one with his cinematographer, you have a uh, summoning Fierce featurette, director's note, lots of nice features actually for this, even if it doesn't fully encapsulate the um, Criterion, nonetheless now in 4K. So that is a good one. Uh, and <laughs> then we have, um, okay. A self C punk. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember loving this, but I'm kind of curious to revisit it nonetheless. This is um, James Morendino directing. I love that this says John Hughes meets Sid and Nancy. I definitely don't remember it being that, but I do remember Matthew Lillard being kind of obnoxious and annoying. And Annabeth Gish is in this, uh, but another one that I know has a cult following. So maybe there's some folks that. Again, these are, like, if you want to look for any of these solo, you can look on eBay. 
but they are going in the 35 to 40 dollar range so my advice would be if you can buy this 140 dollar set and sell the stuff you don't want and i think you can more than make back what you spent and ultimately not spend 45 bucks on any single title um okay i'll go through the rest a little more quickly orlando uh sally potter film with tilla swinton and billy zane this is the one that I remember being part of our art house section when I was back at the video store and I know it wasn't my bag back then, but I've heard some people talk about it since and I definitely need to give another look again. Uh, commentary with director Sally Potter and Tilla Swinton and some other stuff on here that I definitely want to see. I'll, I'll definitely be checking that one out. I don't even remember what it's about at this time. The Celluloid Closet. Uh, this actually is really good. A documentary about... Um, Lily Tomlin narrates an Oscar winner narrates as Oscar winner Rob Epstein uh, and Jeffrey Friedman assemble fabulous footage from 120 films showing the changing face of cinema sexuality and from cruel stereotypes to covert love to the activist triumphs in the 1990s Tom Hanks, Susan Sarandon, Whoopi Goldberg Tony Curtis, Harvey Firestein and Gore Vidal, just a few of many actors, writers, and commentators who provide funny and insightful, insightful anecdotes. And this has a commentary, actually multiple commentaries. This is a really good documentary about sort of the representations of gay culture in cinema, queer culture in cinema. That's definitely a keeper for me, for sure. Uh, then you have Almodovar's Volver with Penelope Cruz, which I have never seen, honestly. Uh, there's the features for that one. And then we have one called Still Alice, which I don't even know. Julianne Moore, Alec Baldwin, Kristen Stewart. I don't even know the director of this one. But um, not a lot of features on that one, but um, probably going to sell that one, I'll be honest. And then last but not least, we have Call Me By Your Name, Army Hammer, Timothy Chalamet, Lu Luca uh, Guadagnino. Of course, his Bones and All is out now and getting some nice reviews. Uh, some features for this one listed there. And then lastly, we have this booklet, which uh, lists the movies and maybe has a little essay in there. I don't know. But like I said, for 140 bucks, it's 53% off right now. And so I just wanted to put it out there. It'll probably, who knows, maybe by the time this video is live for like 10 minutes, it'll be gone already. But... That said, uh, at 53% off with all these titles that I was interested in and knowing that some folks might be interested in snagging some of them and not wanting to pay eBay scalper prices, I thought I would alert you all to the fact that this box set is available. And uh, you can snag it real quick before it goes back up in price. Um, like I said, some fun and entertaining and landmark stuff in this 30 years of Sony Pictures Classics box set. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.